Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with an empties video because I have had these products building up for a very long time, like since the beginning of the, well, since the last empties video, which I don't know when it was. Um, and they've just been like taking up space on my like chest of drawers in my room because my bathroom isn't usable. It's all been whipped out. That's gonna be put in, like a new one put in in a couple of weeks. And I just thought, you know what, it's time to just get rid of all this stuff now and film an empties video because there's quite a lot. And I've got these kind of in categories, so yeah, let's just get into the video. Before we do though, if you're new here and you like me, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. I'm going to start with like home bits. <laughs> Basically I've got three candles. This first one is a vanilla candle and this is like, is it? Yeah, it's a pure soy wax candle. So this burned really quickly. Um, Like the max, not the max, the, the wax would melt really quickly, but it wouldn't like go away really quickly. It didn't just burn up and die. You know, it's like the max itself, I can't see it again. The wax melts really quickly but it doesn't like evaporate like it's just liquid and like it would probably when the candle was here it would all of this wax would just be full liquid and then obviously you take the can like you burn the can I don't know what's wrong with me today then obviously you blow the candle out and it would all harden again but you could see right down to the bottom from all the way up here because like the wax just melts really quickly it's like a really soft wax this smells specifically like walls vanilla ice cream like it has a really typical vanilla ice cream kind of smell and it's amazing this says the burn time is 40 hours um and what is the brand i think it's um well it says q royal botanical gardens or like q like k-e-w royal botanical gardens I don't know, this was 9 99 I picked it up in um, Waterstones next to like, it was like a year or two ago and there was a um, a stand which had a bunch of Hugue or Hugue, I don't know how to pronounce it but that Danish word for happiness, a bunch of those books and there was like one of like some of these candles like that. So I got it in Waterstones but I really like it, I would definitely repurchase a giant one because it smells heavenly okay the next one is this one from next it has a c on it my man got me it i can't remember how long ago now it is grapefruit and ginger scented oh no it's marks and spencer sorry not it's not next it's marks and spencer i thought it was next because next do candles with initials on as well um this didn't burn as well i don't know if i can like yeah you can see in here it's like all up against the wall of the candle whereas this one burned perfectly that's flat there's nothing aside from like one bit of um the like wick um yeah it managed to burn this side really well but once the wick was bit, like bent over i couldn't really cut it especially when it was so far down so part of it didn't burn very well i don't like when candles do that but oh well i got as much out, out of it as i could it was a nice candle it was like spicy and fruity at the same time which was weird but cool but it was nice and the last one is this one from Avon this is the winter spice candle it's like one of the scents they do for Christmas this just smell heavenly for Christmas it's very like um cinnamony um but that burnt really well as as well so we've got like probably right down at the bottom and there's like a little bit around the edges but not a whole lot. So yeah, this was the little candle. Didn't come with a lid, didn't like that. Um, there was a big candle and a re-diffuser but for how much I would use this, I think the little one was good for the whole Christmas season but it smells really nice. And a lot more affordable than like the next ones but yeah. Okay. Next I've got two hand products. The first one is a um, Body Shop Satsuma Hand Cleanse Gel. I mean it was nice, it smells like Satsumas. 
Well, it smelled like the satsuma smell, but also it's like a, in a really strong al alcoholic way because this will probably have alcohol in it. Would it be? Yeah, it's the first one. <laughs> first ingredient is alcohol. Um, but it was it was nice. And the next one is um, an Avon Care Restoring Moisture Hand Cream. This is like the coconutty, yeah, with coconut oil one. For dry to extra dry skin, this smells really nice. Um, this is a 75ml bottle, you can get a bigger one, I'm pretty sure. And this just, it was really good for dry hands. It sinks in fairly quickly, it's not too oily, and it, it's nicely moisturising, so I highly recommend the Avon hand creams, like these ones anyway. Haven't tried any other ones. Okay, on to hair stuff. So the first thing is the Batiste Dry Shampoo and Volume. It's one of their newer ones. Um, and this is with plumping collagen. Didn't find this to give me any volume whatsoever. I'm not wanting to use dry hair shampoo often. Um, I just, I prefer not to. It doesn't ever leave my hair looking good or not greasy afterwards. It doesn't do a whole lot for my hair. But I thought the voluming one, volumizing one would be good for my very flat hair. I have very long hair, so it weighs it down at the root, so it's not like the most voluminous hair. Um, that is going to change soon though, you'll see in like a, a later video in a few weeks. But um, yeah, I mean it was a dry hair shampoo, it worked like that, I just didn't think it did anything else. Okay, next we have a shampoo and conditioner from Dove. This is their thickening ritual with lavender oil and rosemary extract. These smelled really nice. Especially because they're lavender, they're nice and soothing and relaxing. My battery's running out, are you kidding me? So, okay, let's get through this quick. Um, if you're having a stressful day, they'll just be nice in the shower, but I found these washed my hair very nicely and left my hair feeling really nice so I really like these and I would definitely repurchase them. Okay, last thing for hair is the Tresemme Expert Selection um, Bot Botanique Nourish and Replenish Hydrating Mist. I'd use this just spritz with my hair when it's damp and then blow dry it to give it a bit extra hydration. It was nice, it smells lovely. I used to have the matching shampoo and conditioner which I also really like. Um, this was just, took me longer to use it, I don't know. Okay, now for body stuff, I have a giant bottle of Aveeno. It still has like a little bit in the bottom, which you have to scrape out, but it's a big fuss. It's basically done. This is the big 500 milliliter bottle. If you have sensitive skin that's prone to being very dry, I highly recommend this. It's just the best for helping to moisturize your skin when you're having like a weird, it's like I had like eczema on my neck. Um, and whenever that flares up, anything fragrance is going to make it worse. So this is basically made out of oats. Or oatmeal, whatever, same thing. It's really good. And Jennifer Aniston's always on the adverts. So if Jennifer Aniston uses this, hello, we should all be using it. Okay, next we have this Ted Baker shower cream. This is not technically the only shower cream I've used, but I have like multiple open, I'm not going to lie to you. So they're nearly done. So... It's because I'm going through multiple that this is like the only full size. Um, but this is the Opulent Petal um, body wash. I'm also trying to pan, and I merely panned the matching shower, not shower, um, body mist. So it was quite nice. I wouldn't, you know, I, I wasn't mad at it, but I w it's not like something I'd go out of my way to get. I also finished this um, Floral Collection Magnolia sh sh Tiny Shower Cream from Marks and Spencer's. I got it in a Christmas set, thought I'd use it. And then this is the Sure Maximum Protection Antiperspirant in Clean Scent. Not too, I mean, it's expensive and it doesn't do a whole lot for me, so I probably won't repurchase this, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, on to skincare. A giant 700ml bottle of Garnier Micellar Water. Started this beginning of the year, finished it two months ago. It took me four months to finish. Let's just, yeah. Okay, um, also this Avon Nutra Effects Refle Refreshing Gel Cleanser for all skin types. Really like this, I just kept it in the shower, washed my face with it whenever I had a shower. And it was nice, if you have dry skin, this is really nice. It doesn't, it doesn't strip your skin of those natural oils at all. Never left my skin feeling dry, so I really liked this. 
Next we have the Vitamin E Moisture Boost Facial Serum. It's the only thing I finished so far out of the collection. Don't know why I finished it so like quickly, but I did. Probably not going to buy anything from this collection ever again. I'm not. I'm not happy with it. I did a review um, up on my channel, so I'll link it in whatever corner if I remember. If you want to watch that. Um, next we have the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion Scrub. Finished this ages ago. Haven't had a, had a scrub since. Got one now. This was really nice. I really liked it. Lasted a very, 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 very long time. And lastly, we have the Superdrug Naturally Radiant Gly Glycolic Toner. Smelt like grandma's. Didn't notice how it did much for my skin. Probably won't buy it again. It was very cheap. Okay, I have a small fragrance here. This is the Shea and Blue Atropa Belladonna fragrance. This is just a little 10 ml. I got it in a Marks and Spencer's um, advent calendar a couple of years ago. Shea and Blue is sold. At Marks and Spencer's, absolutely love this scent. I want to buy a full size at some point or get one for Christmas. But I love this. Next we have the Avon True Colour Nail Expert 7 in 1 Treatment. Um, it's just like a nice base to put your nail varnish on top of and it helps make your nails better, I don't know. Really liked it, this tiny bit left at the bottom, um, but it's at that point now, it's just, it won't even... If you tilt it upside down, nothing will come out, so I'm calling it done. Okay, so my camera ran out of charge. So, let's just try and get through this quickly before it runs out of charge again. Um, yes, on to makeup items. The first one I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is just a small one. This is just a small one. Sorry, sometimes I speak and words come out exactly the same. Um, probably never going to repurchase this ever. I didn't find it did anything, like at all. And the spray on this is not good, so yeah. I have two other sprays. I have the Cucumber and the Rose Mario Badescu sprays. I'm nearly finished the lavender one. Um, love these. We'll definitely repurchase all three and the new Orange Blossom one as soon as I can. I have two lip balms. This is the Karma, no, Carmex Moisture Plus lip balm. This is like the berry one. Loved this. I absolutely loved this. I am going to repurchase all shades in this at some point because I, I really liked it. And then this is the Avon Colour Trend lip balm in the sugar cookie smell. Well, yeah, flavour, smell, it's more of a smell. It smells amazing. Like it's a real sugar cookie smell. Very sweet. I don't like, the packaging started peeling not long after I had it. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's just, I don't know. But it was nice, it wasn't the best lip balm I've ever tried. Probably won't rebuy really one, but it smells amazing. Okay, I finished two concealers. This is the Revolution Conceal in Define in C1. This is my second one of these. So yeah, I've already repurchased it. We'll probably repurchase again. Might get the big one though next time. There's like a tiny bit at the bottom. There's not even anything around the sides. I didn't even need to take the stopper out, but it's just like, there's some at the bottom, but I can't reach it with the wand. I don't like that, but oh well. And then I have the collection Lasting Perfection, that's it, um, in Fair, or do we purchase one of them, the same. Then I have two foundations, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. I was using the shade 130 Vanilla, and I found that was a really good shade for me, as you can see it's properly flat now. It was an alright foundation, it wasn't very full coverage. i maybe consider using a darker shade as like a contour stick though. It was a nice formula, just for being a stick. I don't think I get on that well with stick foundations, to be completely uh, <laughs> To be completely honest with you, I think I'm better with liquid, so. And then I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I use the shade Light in this. I absolutely love this. I will definitely buy this again because you get such nice coverage, but it's so light. It's just a very thin layer and it just feels really nice on your skin and your skin just looks like skin. I really like this foundation. Okay, I have the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I think it is anyway. It's rubbed off. It's just a little mini I got ages ago. Um, Didn't like this. I probably won't buy a big one. This is meant to have rosehip and argan oil in it. 
didn't find it to be particularly moisturizing though. And it says, it says it's pore perfecting. And I wouldn't say it does much that either. I, just, I made my foundation go on funny on top. I wasn't a fan. And then I have the NYX, that's the point, tiny, you think this was a pencil? This is the felt tip. It has the tiniest little tip I've ever known. Because that bit, this bit here, that's not tip. It, the tip starts there. That's how small the tip is. It's really good um, for getting a very sharp lines. So I will definitely rebuy one of these. I just forgot, I also have one more lip balm. It's not technically finished. It's got like two uses it left in it. You can't even see. It's basically finished. It's like a tiny little clump in the corner. This is a Ted Baker blackberry lip balm don't like the smell of it at all but it's a really nice lip balm so okay now we have some makeup from my project pan stuff so when i see i mean to be fair it's halfway through the year but i finished one two three four five six seven eight things out of my project pan so i'm very happy with that so the first thing is the kat von d lock it foundation it's a good foundation i think it was kind of off towards the end of me using it because it wasn't wearing well on my skin it didn't look right hate the smell of this though and I've always hated the smell of this it's just not good the locket set and spray however I really liked it didn't smell bad had a lovely 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 mist and lasted forever and it actually did something <laughs> so yeah probably won't repurchase this because I hate the smell and it's maybe a, a smidge too thick I find because I have got quite dry skin I'm better with more hydrating liquidy foundations this is a lot thicker Okay, next we have the NYX Blonde to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam. Probably won't be purchased this. It's very glittery. Like, and what you, it's not what you want in an illuminator. Because I don't think you want glitter to illuminate. You want glitter to... I don't know. It's just... It wasn't bad, though. But these two pet together did not make my base look good at all, so... I'm glad they're both done with, to be honest. Okay, I also finished one half of the NYX Wonder Stick in light. I didn't finish this side because the formula of the light side is horrible. Although it's looking more oily now, which is how this one would usually look. The formula of the dark side, or like the contour side, I really liked. But the light side was really dry. Whereas the contrast side was more oily. I don't know, but I'm calling it finished. I also finished the Gosh Brow Sculpting Fiber Gel in Chestnut. I use this every single day for a year and a half. I'm glad it's done, that is for sure. Okay, I have the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Natural. I will not repurchase any of these, not even a different colour. The formula is just like really hard and I don't like the formula at all. The pigment wasn't bad, it was very similar to my lip colour so it didn't really do much but it was good for like helping to overline your lips. I was mostly just trying to use it up to get it out of my collection. Okay I have a brow pencil, this is the Avon True Colour Glimmer Stick Brow Definer in Brunette. I finished this in the first month, I only had a tiny little bit left. I liked this and I would maybe repurchase this but I've got a lot of other brow stuff. And to be honest, I think I prefer my Benefit pencils more. This is a hell of a lot cheaper. But I think I prefer my Benefit pencils more. But it was still nice. If you want like a, a cheap brow pencil, the Avon True Glimmer Stick is good. And I also finished... Oh, this was not in my project pan. It was... Oh no, never mind. I'm getting myself confused. This was in my project pan, but I finished another... I finished two liquid liners. This was project pan. This one wasn't. I had to kind of use them both together and then they stopped working around about the same time. So this is the Revolution Renaissance Flick. I quite like it. I uh, prefer the next one though. It's more, a little, it's like a couple more expensive, but it's just more reliable. You know? And the last thing is the Mavala 237 Basil or Basil Nail Varnish. Took me three months of wearing this non-stop to finish it from it's like three four months i don't know if i started there or if that was after the first month so it was possibly three possibly four months of wearing this every single time i wore nail varnish i'm very glad it's done because i got very bored of it and also this is actually the first nail varnish that i've ever panned or finished in general 
I don't think I've had, I might have finished nail varnish, but I can't remember. Obviously, like, the, like, base coats don't count because you wear them every time. Like, an actual coloured nail varnish. I have a feeling this is the first one I've ever finished in my whole entire life. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe to me down below. Um, I mentioned my project pans. I do have... Um, a playlist of all my project pans if you're new or if you haven't watched them yet I will leave a link in whichever corner it is I think it's this one no that one I think it's that corner sound flipped yeah I think it's this corner I'm looking at my viewfinder if I try and guess in this corner there should be a link if I remember to the playlist of my project pan 2019 videos it's the first year I've ever done a project pan so yeah I'm gonna go now I'll see you in the next video. Bye.